Now we'll take a look at adding um, our supply lines, cold and hot water. We'll go back to the one we're working from. And uh, we have a, a point of use tankless hot water heater. And it has the inputs for the gas and electrical. And one's labeled cold water supply. So we need to go ahead and insert this. That also give us a point to attach all of our plumbing to. So I'm going to go to insert. Um, go to my right drawing first. Go to insert a family and we want to go out to plumbing and not architectural but MEP and equipment and water heaters and we'll find a tankless water heater we'll go ahead and open that and we will place that component and I'm just going to arbitrarily place it and notice what it says about it um, as I highlight it. You have cold water half inch um, in, actually this is hot water, this is cold water, this is input for electrical, it's a 120 volt, 125 volt amp uh, unit. So we're all set with that. Now we need some supply line plumbing and a little thought about where we position it. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back to level two. And we're going to go ahead and put in a, a piece of PVC plumbing that will supply the water to our units, to our toilets and sinks. So I'm going to go to system. I'm going to grab the pipe. We're going to use PVC pipe, but it really would be copper probably and or PEX tubing. Um, but this is um, available to us easy. And I wasn't able to find any nice references for um, PEX plumbing and or copper. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to actually just try to place this in, an, in a pocket of space that's not in the middle of our, um, not in the way of our other plumbing. And we'll just drag this on uh, until we come out on the other side of the wall there. And now I don't know what level where I'm actually with a level with that. So let's take a look at that in the plumbing view here. It's not showing up at all. So I've probably drawn, drawn it somewhere really obscure. Let me, let me just redo that again. I'll just undo that. And we'll go back to level two. Grab the pipe again. It's on level two, it was down below. So what I want to do this time is I want to set it above. Excuse me for not doing that from the start. So we're going to put it up one foot or 12 inches. And we'll start drawing it. Once again in that space between, clearing the edge of the wall and the plumbing. And it's a pretty tight fit. So we'd actually probably want um, a little bit of a thicker, thicker wall for that. And I'll just pull that out and leave it off there and we'll now take a look at that again and hopefully that'll show up and there we have it going across you can see that it's intersecting with our other pieces of um, waste that are coming out so let's just move that up a bit, a bit. so we'll go up to one foot uh, let's go one foot two inches and that's our cold water supply and we'll need to have um, some stubs up to um, to go into our fixtures. So I'm going to select the right hand tool or the right view here. We're just going to uh, copy this up. And then we'll just shorten it way down. Okay, so now we have a little stub pipe that's in the same plane as the the one we're working with. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'll put this over here. This would be the water inlet to the toilet bowl. In the wall still, it's going to eventually, I'm going to just shorten it down to two inches. And now I'm going to just copy that over. I'll put this on moldable. We'll come over and have a stub out for there. And then we have a stub out over here for our sink. And then we'll do one more because there's going to be a hot water connection. And we'll lengthen these up. These will go up a little bit higher here. I 
Okay, so now we could just, these are cold water. So I'm going to just drag this down. I want to make sure, hold on, let me think about this a minute. Actually, this is the wrong way. This should be a hot water connection. Um, cold water is on the right. So let's, let's see if we can undo that. We'll need to use the join command for that one. Now we'll take a look at that from a 3D view. Okay, so now we have cold water supply to all of the appliances. We still need a hot water supply and a way that we can get it to come around here without interfering with the other one because we'll probably want to come in at the top of that one. So let's put up a couple of stubs coming onto this wall right away. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to the level two plan and I'll just grab this piece of plumbing and I'm going to just make a copy of it. Pull it over here and give it a second to save that and now let's just rotate this around so it's on the face of the, the wall i'm not seeing our water heater in this view so it's a little you know we'll just bring that back to there to make a connection so now we're coming around the corner with our water line and let's bop back to our 3d view so now we're wrapping the wall with our cold water supply and let's use these fixtures. Let's copy these fixtures up and we'll, we'll use these also for our hot water. So I'm going to, or these pl plumbing elements. So I'm going to try and multiple select all of these. Having a little hard time here. Hold on. It might not. No. Okay, and we'll go to the right elevation there, and we're just going to copy that up. So this can be our hot water supply. Whoops. I want a T connection. And we'll join that one up. So now we have one coming up for the one sink um, entry and the other one there. And there would be stubs coming out then to the supply lines that go right to the fixture. So let's take a look at this once again in a, a 3D view. And now we need a few more pieces of plumbing here. So what we want to do is get right on the front of our unit view. And we can just, just highlight this. And you'll see we have our hot water coming out, our cold water coming in. This is our cold water here. So let's go ahead and make a copy of that pipe. hates to do that for some reason. Probably not in perfect alignment with it, but I'm just going to bring it over here. So there's our cold water coming up. And now we have two pipes that are actually in the same plane with each other, so we may want to make an adjustment to that. So I'm going to go ahead. This hot water needs to be either closer in on the wall or further out. So let's just go to the top elevation here so you can see what I mean, because they're going to get in the way of each other. 
and we're not going to see that because of the roof here so I'm just going to hide that in view for a minute so we have to figure out which one we're going <clears throat> excuse me to bring it out <clears throat> We really want to walk this one out a little further so it can be proud of it. So let's go back to that top view again. And I'll grab the plumbing. And I'll just move it out. Just an inch is actually really all we need. Maybe a little more. It looks like we're bumping in there. I want to go two, so we'll just go one more inch. Okay, and then we'll go back to our south elevation. And now we know this one isn't going to be in intersecting with that one there. So we can go ahead and copy that over. So I'm just going to move it over here. Now we can use our join command. We won't bother making the final connections of that. We need one more element. That's a way to get the cold water supply into the whole assembly yet. So we're going to move this down, copy it and move it. So we can then couple that up. So I'm just going to pull this up here. And I probably would want to inter introduce this into the um, into the wall area, but for now that's that's fine. I'll pull this down enough that it stubs out below the below the ceiling level. All right, so there we go. We have a hot water supply coming back. We've got cold coming in, supplying the hot to the water tank for heating and also going out and supplying the fixtures. So that's a pretty good start, I think, for a plumbing layout. I'll go ahead and we can turn the roof plane back on again. And now we should think about how we want to um, create some drawings in some uh, communications documents with the kind of layout work that we've done. And we'll pick that up in the next clip.